Alrighty, what is going on guys? Johnny Games here and welcome back to another Redstone video. It's been a long time since I've done a video like this and I'm very excited because I've been working for the past few days or so just in my spare time on a really interesting concept. So if we look out the window here, um, you can see that there are different areas indicated by wool. Those are all different zones and basically what I've come up with is a way to randomize and then spawn in a biome for each one of those zones and we have 12 biomes to choose from and every time you will enter the safari zone it'll be a new one so let me go ahead and just get the ball rolling so if I go ahead and actually go in it will start generating all of the biomes and it's just chosen from a random selection we have some randomizers that spawn and then all of the things are cloning in and I've never actually tested this when people are away from the spawn chunks, but I definitely know that it works. I just haven't seen it firsthand. So interesting enough. And then um, as you can tell, it'll say it's progress. And then once it does, there are six zones in total. And so we are on our last biome here. And then once it's all rendered in, we can go ahead and just have our Pixelmon adventure. I mean, obviously, Pixelmon isn't out for 1.8. Hello, me. Um, Pixelmon isn't out for 1.8 yet as of the posting of this video, um, but I've done a lot of the redstone necessary whenever it does come out. And so, yeah, so each biome here, let me go ahead and fly up. Each biome here was randomly placed and randomly chosen, so it's, I guess it's just a coincidence that there are some, like, clay mountainous areas here, and here we have, like, our marshes and swamps and stuff. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and just go back to spawn because I kind of want to show you this whenever um, whenever it's in action because I don't know about you, the redstone is pretty fascinating to watch. It certainly is for me. So as you can probably tell if you've looked outside of the spawn for the Pixelmon map or if you follow me on Twitter, I posted a photo of this the other day. Um, spawn got a little bit redone and this is why I had to fit a lot more stuff in and um, I did it. I somehow fit all 12 biomes here with as large as they are. Oh wow that frame drop. As big as they are I fit them all into the spawn chunks just barely and um, with enough room for all of this redstone stuff. So over here like this section right here is all of the stuff when it comes to the new safari zone. For reference that's the that is the safari zone mechanism that I've yet to disassemble from the previous one. But um, let me go ahead and tab on over to my account I have on a second monitor. So let me go ahead and buy the book on the John D. Games account that I had watching us earlier. And then we can see how the redstone works from here. So what we're first going to notice is the trail of, um, the trail of command blocks down here are going to light up. Let me go ahead and confirm over on John D. Games. Yes. All right. And so it'll start and then a signal will go through here and it will randomize. And we have two, like two columns here with paired up. Um, these are just the d different zones. So we have 12 in total here. And um, each two of these is for a different biome color coded. And um, as you can see, like it's randomizing. It picked that biome that time. And then like you can see the redstone blocks flash um, yep down there and so it'll just go through pick a random biome and then it'll generate it and that's why the players like kind of teleported around is just so all of the clone commands will work because if you haven't figured it out what happens is all of these basically just clone a section of the biome over to the safari zone that's why it's in the spawn chunks so it'll be able to load and um, yeah so all of these are just clones, just clones for all these biomes, puts it into the safari zone, and then whenever you're done, it will go ahead and just run through a um, run through a series of clears. So right now it's just cleaning it up, which is replacing it all with air. A lot more simple than the monstrosity that is like this skyblock-like mechanism. and. Um, yeah, so basically it just chooses it through randomizers, and since I can't fit, um, I can't fit 12 things in a 3x3 dispenser, um, I just had it split up into 50-50, which happened to be pretty good for, uh, pretty good heights for these. So, 
Yeah, and so it'll go through here and then pick one, generate it, and then it'll cycle through. So the player will just go through the generation cycle, and then when they're done, it'll go through like the other side of this little command block thing here, and um, it'll go ahead and just remove them. So yeah, it seems like a fairly simple concept, but this took a lot longer than I thought to implement, but I think it's really worth it. I did see a, um, I was going through the Pokemon wiki about, like, the Johto Safari, and, um, I saw that you could actually choose biomes, like, pick specific ones, so maybe that could be next for either choosing a random distribution or being able to choose your own biomes. That might be really, really cool, actually. So yeah, this is just one of the things that I've been working on these past few days. Um, I've been getting my map ready for um, Pixelmon 1.8, which, fingers crossed, is going to come out pretty soon. I'm going to be on spring break very shortly, so I'm looking forward to working on that if it's out over by spring break so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed and if you did a like would be appreciated especially with all of the work that i've put into this mechanism and yeah hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you guys next time